Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the flushing toilet myth, the Coriolis effect. Do toilets flush different ways in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere? As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a toilet and a tub or sink in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So the question was, how do I do this um, since I live in California in the northern hemisphere? Well, I contacted um, a very nice gentleman from StemShare, and he was nice enough to uh, do the second half of my experiment. So I thank Andrew very much. You guys, please look at his information in the uh, description below because he was a huge help um, as I did not have a toilet or sink in the Southern Hemisphere. So special thanks to Andrew and StemShare. So we're starting with Andrew's uh, video in the Southern Hemisphere with the toilet test and just flushing it. So by, by now everyone's heard about the myth that if you live in the Southern Hemisphere that the toilets will spin one way and the Northern Hemisphere the other way. And basically it's because of the Coriolis effect, right? So uh, Andrew's doing this in the Southern Hemisphere and we're flushing it, but it's just a myth. So it's basically, as you'll see in these videos in the next uh, 20 seconds or so, it's the way the jets are pushing the water out on the sides uh, dictates on how the water is going to go down uh, the toilet. So you could have in the same hemisphere toilets go different directions because the jets are pushing that water that direction. So uh, we'll see it another time here with this. Uh, this is time in my in northern hemisphere in California. We flush it and we can see the water comes at a different angle. Looks like it's going counterclockwise, but once again, because of the rotation of the water is being pushed out by the jets, it makes it impossible to be able to figure out if the Coriolis effect is doing its job. So um, we'll have to go back to different experiments to see how we're going to be able to see this work. Here I have a couple satellite images uh, showing the Coriolis effect. Here it's in the northern hemisphere. Weather forecasters use the Coriolis effect as part of their calculations to work out how airflow moves from areas from high pressure to low pressure. The air wants to move in a straight line from high to low, but thanks to the Coriolis effect, the air is deflected to the right in the northern hemisphere, as we see here, and it moves to the low pressure zone counterclockwise. And then we'll see when we go into the southern hemisphere over Australia, it's going from low area to the clockwise direction. So the high pressure tries to push it to the middle because of the Coriolis effect. It's rushing the air to flex off course and by the low pressure in the middle. So the northern hemisphere gets pulled slightly to the right and the air keeps trying to get to the middle, but it continues to spin counterclockwise to the right motion. The southern hemisphere is pulled to the left, making it spin clockwise. So the Coriolis effect really works in large distances. It's very hard to make it work in a small scale like a sink or a tub, but we are able to do that and we're going to show you that now. So the first attempt, Andrew in Southern Ham Hemisphere in Australia uh, put the water in and basically waited about an hour and you see when he drops a food coloring, it starts to go counterclockwise. And that's partly because the water hasn't settled, it's still spinning around. So I asked Andrew to do another test and actually let the water sit in the tub for 24 hours. Therefore, it would settle down and the water wouldn't be move, moving in a circular motion. So here we are. Andrew's doing a second test. 24 hours the water's been sitting there. And he's going to let it out. And he's going to put some food coloring in. And he starts to put it in. And it's a little hard to see at first. But we can start to see it's starting to go clockwise. You'll watch the next drop or two. Here it goes. You can see it moving clockwise in that direction. So it is a success, which is supposed to be pretty hard to do in a tub or a sink, but we're able to do it. So great job. Thank you, Andrew. And it seemed like waiting that extra time, let the water stop circling around in the circle, and it did the correct effect. All right, so we're in my neck of the woods, Northern Hemisphere, California, and I put my dye in the sink, and you can see it's working. It's going counterclockwise direction uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. So the Coriolis effect is working in the sink, and I owe special thanks to Andrew uh, and StemShare uh, making this possible to be able to have two different people who don't even know each other get together and make this experiment. So thank you so much. Uh, remember to share and to subscribe, and thanks for watching.